you, Lord. We won't even tell God, thank you for being bruised. Thank you for being wounded. Thank you for going to the cross. Thank you, thank you for obeying God. Thank you for not deciding to do it your way. Thank you for getting your focus back on what God sent you. Thank you, Lord, that you didn't call down those angels to rescue you, but you went through so that we could come out. We can't tell God thank you on that. The chastisement for our peace. Right 
atmosphere there. Amen. Now, if you got something else there, then you ought to be sick because demons there. Amen. You cast them demons at your own house. Get up. We some lazy Christians. We refuse to get up. What if them ten lepers would have just stood there? Mm. I shouldn't have to go nowhere. You Jesus. You can't come lay hands on me. I heard that's what you did to other person. We can't come touch you. You already know what they said. They said we can't come on the street. Why you can't come to us? I shouldn't have to cry out to you. You seen me when you turned on my street. We get so prideful. Telling God how he ought to do it. Who are we? Within an instant, we can be gone. God had got so mad with the children of Israel. When they had went down there and built that golden calf, yeah. he ran the storm. On several occasions, he was ready to storm. He would open up the earth. And, and most had intercedes that, Lord, if you kill them, they're going to say something. They're going to talk about you. They're going to say, you brought us all the way out here just to kill us. <laughs> Back in the biblical days, the stuff that we did away with, they couldn't get away with that. <laughs> they were dropping dead. Ananias and um, Seth, Seth, what's her name? Sapphira. Immediately dropping dead. Lying. Lying. In the church. Lying. And we live lying in the church. No fear of God. No reverence of God. But yet we always got our hand out and we want something from God. I come to tell you on tonight. That God is going to heal you out of whatever you're in. But first, you got to get yourself together. If any of this stuff hit home, amen, and it's confirmation. Ask the Lord to forgive you. That's all it takes. Open up your mouth. And say, Lord, forgive me of everything. You may not be able to remember it all. So most of may come to your memory asking for forgiveness on that. But then if your heart is right, you hear what I say? Your heart is right. Amen. You want God to forgive you? You got to forgive them other people. You got to forgive them family members. Family be the main one that'll hurt you. The main one that'll hurt you. Sometimes your own mom and dad will tell you out. They'll reject you. They'll give you away. Amen? Or sometimes they'll treat you so bad you'll wish they would have gave you away. And we 40, 50, 60, 30 years old. And we still ain't got over the fact that our mama abused us or gave us away or bought our brother or our other sister more stuff than she did us. We got to forgive them. Because you got to keep in mind, you probably not doing something according to how your children think. You ought to be doing it. You probably don't make a mistake too, raising your kids. Don't you want them to forgive you? Well, forgive your parents. And last but not least, in Exodus, the 15th chapter, verse 26, and the word of God says, if you diligently heed, obey, receive, believe the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right yeah. in his whole sight, in his sight, give ear, have ear to his commandments and keep all of his statutes, not some, not the ones that's easy, but even the ones that challenge you from day to day. I will put none of the diseases on you which I have bought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. I am the Lord that heals you. I am the Lord that heals you. Not man, not that medicine. I may choose to heal you through that man or through that woman. I may choose to heal you through that medicine. I may choose to heal you through this way or through that way. But at the end of the day, it is I, the Lord, who heals you. Stand to your feet. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You ought to just give God praise.